want to talk to you about your relationship with demand justice. And during your last confirmation process before this committee, you said in response to a question for the record that you've spoken with Demand Justice's co-founder, Chris Kang, and I'm quoting you a couple of times about the judicial nominations process, end quote. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. I've looked at the positions that Demand Justice has taken, and one of their priorities has been to expand the Supreme Court. So did you speak with Mr. Kang about expanding the Supreme Court? Uh, no, Senator Blackburn. Um, my conversations uh, with Mr. King um, were, were limited to um, getting uh, advice and guidance on how the nomination process worked. It was quite opaque to me at that point, and so he provided right. guidance. Do you support increasing the number of justices on the Supreme Court? Um, that is a matter that I am precluded from opining on under the canons. Um, but I think if you look at my record, I've never public. I, I I've never taken that position. I don't think you're on uh, giving an opinion as to whether or not you think that the Supreme Court should be expanded. And demand justice has has suggested that adding four justices would bring, and I quote them, restore balance and integrity. So do you think that there's a particular number of justices that should be added to the Supreme Court? Senator Blackburn, uh, I have never taken any position on this. I don't think it's appropriate for okay. me to opine on it. Okay, demand justice claims that the Supreme Court is, and I'm quoting them, unethical, unaccountable, and out of control. Do you share that assessment? Um, Senator, I don't have a relationship with Demand Justice. Um, I've only spoken to Mr. King on a couple occasions several okay. years ago. I'm not familiar with their positions, um, but I obviously, don't associate that myself with those. Obviously, you respected him, or you wouldn't have called him and gotten advice from him. So that is what concerns me, that you would go to a far left-leaning group to get advice on how to come before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, I want to, Senator Kennedy talked with you about uh, your ranking, and you are, as he told you, number one at having the biggest backlog in uh, the Seventh Circuit, and you're number seven nationwide with outstanding motions. And the thing, as I looked at this judge, what is very curious to me is how you're so out of step with the other district judges as far as managing your time and moving cases forward and actually making decisions. Um, I looked at the alarm detection systems case, and you've had a fully briefed motion since September of 22. And then the Palladino Wells Fargo case, you've had since November of 22. So I am, I understand how time consuming the work is. I understand, and we all, let me tell you, we do a lot of reading. We do a lot of prep work for our hearings. But I find it interesting that when you have a fully briefed case in front of you, you cannot come to a decision. So what hinders you from being able to arrive at decisions when you have everything you need to make the decision? Thank you, Senator. I, I wouldn't say that I'm hindered in my decision making. In fact, you know, if you look at my record, I am a fan of ruling on the record, and so I've, I've done many, um, decided many motions on the record at hearings over the course of several hours. So well, I'm not hindered. District judge, let's talk about that, because I went in and looked at your record, and I noted the fact that you've only presided over one civil trial to verdict in your nearly two years on the bench. One trial, just one. And that combined with the fact that you had tried only three cases when you were in private practice leads me to question your fitness for the court. So how can you expect us 
to confirm you to the circuit court when in two years you've presided over one civil trial and your backlog is larger than nearly everyone else. What would qualify you? Senator, I would look at the quality of my decision making. Uh, other judges find a way to do expediency and quality of work. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.